I'm David Staley, an associate professor in the Department of History, and uh, I also direct the Goldberg Center for Excellence in Teaching. Um, anybody who, who knows me knows that I uh, carry around a notebook with me everywhere because, um, uh, well, I want to be able to get thoughts down as they, as they come to me, but uh, it's also important for me to have a surface to write on uh, at, at, at any given time. And in fact, uh, I was working with a, with a grad student just the other day um, thinking about scenarios and different ways of, of, of uh, thinking about, in, in her case, thinking about the future of higher education. And so uh, something like, like, like this would be really useful, I think, uh, in, uh, in, in, a, in a larger class or even in a seminar where, uh, where we want to have some sort of writing surface to be able to draw out ideas. And so uh, I'll, I'll share with you what I, was, what I was doing with her that day. We were talking about scenarios. And whenever I talk about scenarios with my students, um, whenever we're talking about the future, I say that people who are interested in knowing about the future, what they're really interested in is knowing something about the state of some system at a future point uh, in time. And so I will oftentimes draw out some sort of structure like this and say, that's our system. Right? And this is, the, this is now, this is the present. And that whenever we talk about the future, what we really mean is we want to know about the configuration of that system at some future point. So this is some point n in the future. But uh, the scenario method is based on the idea that we can't know the future with any sort of precision. All we can imagine are different possible states of such a system. And so I try to get my students to think in terms of multiple scenarios or multiple states of the future. And so this is, the, this is some of the work that we were doing the other day. Another approach that I'll sometimes take with students is uh, what we call idealized design. And what that means is um, uh, that under scenarios, you're working under conditions here of uncertainty. We don't know the direction that the future is going to take. With idealized design, we develop a picture of our idealized future, right? So we know what the future that we want is going to look like. And this is some sort of idealized future or some sort of blue sky future. And the idea of idealized design is that once you've visualized what the future looks like, well, then you sort of work your way back to the present. This is the present. You sort of work your way back and say, well, what conditions need to be present for this idealized future to take hold? And so what you do, in essence, is sort of reverse engineer your way backward uh, to the present as a way then to build a roadmap to reach this idealized future, to reach this, this preferred uh, blue sky future uh, that you're aiming for. Um, 